What is happening guys? Cowboy here, back with more Daily Heroes for you. And we are continuing on with our Warrior Quest. So pulling on out Artanis here. A uh, really big fan of him in double warrior formation, so I think this will go quite well. Um, definitely a lot of CC between myself and Muradin, and then some really good damage follow-up with Kale Nova. But it'll be an interesting matchup. I mean, they have Tyrael and Artanis, giving them very strong initiation. Um, on top of that, we've already seen what Cho'Gall is capable of. But this is a player we don't know playing Cho'Gall. I've actually only seen um, one pair in quick match so far that was competent with Cho'Gall. So for all we know, he might be a complete scrub. Not saying he is, just saying that's more than often than not the case. Um, so one thing I didn't mention in the last episode, we are actually using our PVR to record this. Um, how we do it with like Fallout now, where we're using the same PVR we record our console stuff with. I'm also doing that now on Heroes. Um, do, do, we're going to go Season Marksman, I think. We're going with like pure damage here. I mean, considering that they have a very uh, tank heavy loadout, I think that'll be a good choice. Five, four, three, two, one. Fight. Had to tab out there for a second. I wanted to check the uh, frequency of whether or not people think Titan Killer is worth it. And it looks like Titan Killer is almost n never picked. I kind of want to consider it here just because we do have, you know, their team with Tyrael, Artanis, and Cho. I think that might be worthwhile. I'm not entirely sure. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll debate when we get to that point. We'll figure it out then. Um, but yeah, the PBR should automatically lower the volume on stuff um, as I talk. So, you know, you can kind of hear it right now. It shouldn't be too bad. It should be just that little bit. Get out of here, Morales. I got a shield. You're not going to get me. I do want to yank that Morales towards us to take her out. Safeguard there. No! Oh, man. I could not get my attacks in in time to reduce the shield cooldown. Two. Do, do, do. Yeah, that would have that would have saved me right there, too. Getting in those two attacks. What crap. Gotta get out here. I'm losing season marksman stacks. I think we'll have a really good team when it comes to tributes, though. They're kind of spread thin. Reveal the way. And I'm building this guy more as like an assassin than a warrior. Alright, so here... Um, no, I don't think I want that. I think I'll go for lethal alacrity there. Lethal alacrity is just always a good pick, you know. God, that's the hard part. Like, I can't punish this Tyrael for playing sloppy because freaking Morales is right there. Just like, there, I can heal. Gotcha. No healer for the tribute. We should win this pretty easily. Considering they don't have a Morales right now. There we go. Easy grab. I'm going to help Murden get a little bit of push in while we got the opportunity now. Might as well. But do let me know how the sound is. Um, you know, like I said, this is—I actually adjusted it slightly after the last video. I decided I didn't want it lowering volume as much, 
So I change that so that it lowers volume uh, just a little bit less, not by much, but just a little bit less. And I th think it'll be a welcome change. You're gonna die. Nope. You ain't going nowhere. I say. Um, bum, 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 bum. No. Yes. Definitely gonna want the damage there. With honor, I lead. We're consistently knocking out one before every tribute. That's really good. Um, how am I on stacks? Five. Okay, it's not too bad. Come here, fat boy. Goodbye, Morales. You are dead. I ain't afraid to choke all. Get the fat man. Get him. Get that fatty. Got the fatty. Good. We're doing very good. We got a nice team though. With the Nova, Nova fits really well with two warriors because you have like, you know, you just you have that up front. You have that protection. I do want to pull Cho'Gall back out soon. Can I? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could do that. It looks like I can't though. I'm still on the fence if I want to go Titan Killer. Like I really like Zealot Charge because Zealot Charge secures kills. But Titan Killer might be worthwhile here. I mean, freaking Artanis, Tyrael, and a Cho'Gall, like, that's that's a lot of beef. And with triple attacks, that would be 7.5% every time I attack. I'm trying to think what Giant Killer typically is. I think Giant Killer is normally 3%. 3% of the target's health per attack. And I'd be getting... Two point five percent of their maximum health. That might be worth it. <laughs> oh, you done messed up, Tyrael. Totally want purifier beam here for sure. Kill him! Kill him! You ain't gonna get away. No. No, no. Where'd you go? Where did you go? You're telling me he actually escaped? What a bunch of crap. So then there's the question of do I want to go Nexus Blades or do I want to get Recasting Purifier? Because Recasting Purifier is so good. as I can. Gotcha! Shield is up. The shield is up. Oh! Boop! 
get juked. This is turning into a slaughter. You wanna go, Cho? You wanna go, Cho? Cho's going down too. How about Tyrael? Tyrael wants to die, I think. Oh, you better run. Oh, you wanna go? You wanna go against Artanis? Come on, baby. Take you all down. Man, what a push. That was impressive. We have 24,000 hero damage. We're doing really good. Second highest hero damage in the game, second highest siege in the game. Very nice. I mean, this is turning into a blowout right now, but. Yeah, boss would be good. We could pick up boss. Season marks have been coming along well. 21 stacks at 10 minutes. Reveal the way. It's definitely uh, something I can appreciate. If you wish my oh, blessing, wait. you'd better run. Oh, uh, yeah, we can do it fast. No. They're like afraid to, oh, they were busy doing boss, so they just gave it up. <sighs> okay. I mean, the charge is really, really good. Mm. Let's try it. Why not? I've never picked up Titan Killer before. Really big fan of Zealot Charge, but we're up against, you know, three kind of big, bulky, slow dudes anyway, so I'm curious to see how it turns out. I think it'll shred. Like, I think my, my Twin Blades will just decimate people now. Oh, that was brutal. And meanwhile, our boss is just free pushing their bottom in. <laughs> like, say goodbye to your lane. Twenty-nine stacks after that fight. That's huge. I'm about to be thirty stacks in twelve minutes. I really want to see what, what a Twin Blades can do now. Because, I mean, I got three attacks, 2.5%, so default 7.5% of something's max health per attack, plus the bonus damage coming in from uh, Season Marksman. I think I'm going to, like, just absolutely shred stuff now. I mean, because just those three attacks, it's hitting for, like, 750-ish. Is he just sitting in my purifier beam? Like what? Like, look at Tyrael's health. Just get out of here. Just get out of here. Don't even come at us. I mean, give we do have a four level advantage. So I mean, like, it's not like we're just, you know, it's not like I'm just god tier slaughtering stuff. I mean, that level advantage is a big, big part of it, obviously. But with that being said, I am doing absurd damage at the moment. And we might GG this right here. Like this has turned into a blowout. There's the curse. Like, I'd be impressed if they survive. Because I don't think they will. I want to kill this Chogal. Oh 
Come on out. Come on out. Watch what I do to you. Come on out. Come on out. Slaughter. Complete slaughter. Like the best kind of slaughter. It's so good. So many jimmies rustled. Oh, yeah. So taking a look at the stats. 40,000. Oh, Nova did pass me. But I blew away everyone on their team at least. So overall, good match. Definitely uh, totally brutal. And uh, talent build, of course. Season, lethal, solarite, purifier, triple strike, titan killer. Um, yeah. So make sure to stay tuned. Catch you guys tomorrow.